Hello, welcome everyone. So today a good friend of mine requested for this animation style over here. This one over here. So transition. And uh, this it could be very easy to be done. This could be anything. It could be a button. It could just be a, a container with uh, uh, the text inside of it. So we are going to learn how to actually achieve this. For this in the right, this is just a video. And to show you that, click on option and save video as you can see the video format right from here. That's MP4. Okay. So now let's get into it and create this particular effect. But before then, let me show you some other cool effect that can actually outsmart or beat this one. So we have number one, as you can see from here, it's switching the text uh, sequentially. And the same happens to here, as you can see, it has a totally different effects from the one we have from the first one. So we're going to learn exactly how to do this. After this lesson, the next lesson, we are going to learn how to make a mark you text like this. So let's get into this particular one and deal with this once and for all. So we're going to be using this section and if we want to create it as a button like this, what we need to do is to toss in a container first. And instead of that container, we can now start blending it with whatever we want to do. Just put in anything we want to do there. Then the container itself is going to have a color of white, as you all should know. And the container will have a minimum width, possibly by percentage, whatever size you want to give it. Then put in the text here, it's still the same thing on how this is actually achieved. For the curved edges, you can just scroll down, go to style and go to borders. Just adjust this a little till you get to the curve style you want. So that's how to achieve that. In case you want to make it a button, by the way, let me not just delete that. Let me go back to time. I love the fact in uh, builder, online builders, you can actually go back in time. We just control Z. So now when you select on this, we can actually turn this to a button when we put that particular text effect inside of it by clicking on layout, click on additional option right here. Just click on that and then click change the HTML tag from the fourth to not HTML tag. Okay. From the fourth to a link, click on that. Then you can put in the link you want here. You can also make a dynamic link from selecting what I product URL or post uh description stuff like that so that is it and how to do it if you want to make that a button but for now we are going to change this particular content to be the animated effects as we have from here the rest of them the elements and by the way this one this element is different text that is pasted here then this one is a different text they are not the same text added together but for this one we are going to be using everything is going to be the same text so we don't need to have the issue of poor responsiveness as you can see when we click on this this is totally very well responsive and why it is responsive is because the text the boot texts are the same so we are not having different uh text the text here is the same text that actually we used for this love and Christ and peace. So we have to get back there and let's just do the same thing for this. So to do this, the widget we need from Elementor is called animated headline. So click on this, type on animated, then see headline. This particular one here is just a default element. I think that should be even be a free plugin. So usually it comes with these uh, text widths, some lines or some doddle circle around the animated one so this one over here is the animated version if you look closely over here you see this page is amazing so this page is the default text and this is the animated text i hope you get that so all this this page is the default text and this is the what animated text so let's get into styling first off we have to change the headline color this is the main headline color this one over here Okay, which means we can have a different color for the text animated effect and we can have different color for this particular one. That's number one. Number two thing we can do here, we can have different fonts for this one. Possibly we have poopings for this one. And for the second one, we can decide to choose a different color. For instance, fair play. Okay, so we can just decide to play around the way we want. Can make it italic or whatever you want to, if you just want to. 
So this is just to show you a little bit of what it is, uh, what is uh, uh, obtainable, okay? What's obtainable? You can do that as much as you want. Now, the, the circle around these, I just don't like it. We don't want that. That's an old style. So to remove that, you can use the style from here. But first, let's style our text a little. So we go to styling and the headline, we have to increase the size of the font. Now, mind you, when you're increasing the size of the boot uh, font for the headline, text font, it increases both the second one at once. Okay, but this second one, actually, we can control the thickness of that font, but we can't control the size of that font. As you can see, the size feature is not included because this particular headline controls everything over here. You can actually also decide to duplicate this and make the amazing a different text under this one. Then you can control that one separately. But for now, this is options we have. We can increase the both of them at the same time. So now it is increased. We can decide to like collapse it if you want to, if you can decide to leave it as it is. So let's select this text and we copy and we paste the text here. So the one we're gonna leave is word, copy, and we assume this is the one we wanna use for the piece and whatever. So we paste it in here. So now we are done with this. The next thing is for us to add as multiple words as we will have from here, okay? This is where people find it difficult. But first, let's style our text to match what we want. So the text size, the thickness, I don't like it to be that thick. I want it to actually follow up with this. So we are good to go with that. The next thing we have to shrink this so that it doesn't even look nice right now. So go to custom size and we reduce the size to match what we have beneath. And the next thing we need to do is to close up on this text. This both text, we have to close up on them. So go to head, headline, click on this, and the line height, you can reduce it to match this. I think this is fair enough. Okay, this is good. Okay, now let's go ahead to add more text here. So if you go over here, you click on this. To add more text, you need to hit on enter on your keyboard. But as you can see, nothing happens. We don't find the option to add more text even when we hit on enter. Because if you hit on enter, you should go to the next paragraph for you to add the next word. And why this is happening is because the particular effects we are using don't support multiple words. Very simple. So what you need to do is to go to the shape style, click on this circle. You can enable the chord, which will give you a different shape style. You can enable on the line. You can enable the doubled, you can enable the zigzag, okay? So these are if you actually, now let me show, still show you what we can do with this, probably your brand color is green, you can enable that so you can just slide in. When the animation happens, it just happens and you see the effect from there. So you can try out so many things like this, this try through, if you want to actually play around with uh, this type, this type don't support you adding multiple words and you can just add strokes and all of that, circles and all of that doddle effects. But if you want to use the type of effect we use from here, that's where you switch your style from uh, highlight to rotation, okay? So as you can see from rotation now, we have a totally different effect. See, we have bigger, uh, better, faster and so on. So now if we close up on this and write words, we can now hit on enter and write another one. We can write peace. And we can write love. So this will be switching automatically. Now, this is in typing effects. Watch closely. You see, it's typing it out. And why I don't feel comfortable about this particular effect is that it is not responsive. When you go to mobile device, you see that the text will be geotrain the elements in case you have text that are longer than this once you start typing the whole thing start jumping up and all of that so it doesn't have that smooth effect and i don't advise you to use it let's try the second one which is clip see what happens you see the effect is smooth but i don't like the line being around here i just don't like that so try the next one which is flip which is one of my favorites the one we are using for one of the website i just showed you guys a couple of moments ago Hope you can see how effective this is. It's even smoother than having to jump around and all of that. So I like flip. Let's check a uh, scroll. Okay. 
this fine too, but I still don't like the effect that uh, sometimes I have to, you have to start collapsing the text and somehow, anyway, you just play around with the one you like. Let's try blinds, okay? Blinds like window blind or stuff like that. Drop in, like you're trying to zoom in and stuff like that, okay? Then let's try wave, good. I think I like this too, fine. Let's try slide. This cool too. Let's try slide down. This cool too. Now you decide which one you want to use here. Yeah? Decide which one you want to use. For me, I like the wave effect or the flip effect. Square effect is also cool for me. So you decide which one you want to use and make sure your text style, if you must, add different text style, make sure it maintain the same size. But if for the best practice, I would suggest you just use the same text font to do this. So once you're done, you can go into the next text format. You can reduce the thickness of that text to match the one you have over here. Or you can further select the same text if you want to use the same text. Okay. Then the next thing we can do the line height. You don't need to do that spacing. You don't need to do that. Every other thing leaves, leave it as it is. Okay. So once you're done, we need to make this responsive. When you get to the next break point, you see, we need to adjust this a little. In custom, make sure this is back to percentage and we expand it to match perfectly well. We go to tablet break points. Here, everything is almost okay, except for the fact that the font is too large than the one we have from over here, which makes it difficult. And also we need to expand this to about 90% or thereabouts so that it can match him. So after we're done with that, go back to the styling, go to sizing, then reduce the, f the, the text itself to match exactly what we have. So the next we get to the mobile break points. And from here, you see that everything starts getting wacky. So from here, I just reduce the size of the font a little more. And as you can see, things are getting a little bit uh, confusing. So from here, the line height, you have to also adjust it to match properly, or proportionally. And I think we are close to better. Usually this effect itself stays on its own. As you can see, it wouldn't have enough space to stay with under text, especially on mobile breakpoint. We wouldn't have that particular option to have it stay on its own, except the text is reduced a little more. I hope you get, as you can see from here, we have it just in a singular phase. The same thing applies to this one in a singular phase. It's more active. It makes more sense that way if you're using a bolder text. But if this text is tiny or smaller than like this, like two words or three words, it's okay. It can stay in the same line. And if you want to make this a little more sticky, like reduce the size a little, two can match, even three can match if you make it look a little more smaller than what, like what we have from this end. I hope you get that very clearly. So that is simply how to actually achieve this on mobile. Make sure it is responsive for what you want it to be. Okay. And make sure you don't have it jumping, like jumping in the sense that if we add love here, let me show you very quickly what I mean by that. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let me just add a couple more letters. So this is what I mean. Just watch what happens. We have one word, everything jumps up. We have another word, everything jumps down. Just watch closely. It makes the section jump up and jump down. You see, the whole thing have expanded. It will collapse again, become three line. So that is that really affects. I see many of this this many times in most websites, and this doesn't make sense. It really affects the website. So make sure you actually modify your text. Make sure your text is within the frame of what you are doing. Not like you are using text that are, have longer. This thing, make sure you test it out on mobile and see that it actually accommodates in the same line and don't actually jump up as we have it from here. So if we have wonderful, I don't, I don't even think wonderful is going to work. Okay. It works well because of it's accommodating that particular size. So as long as it doesn't leave the amount of line uh, actually provided for it, it is cool. But if it jumps from that line, test out all your words correctly. If it jumps from that line, you need to fix that. Okay. If that fixes it allow it to stay in its own section or the best practice you need to do here. I think there's a bug 
or the next practice you need to do here is to make sure it's actually smaller the text is smaller so that i can actually match up there so that's simply how these particular effects are created this is uh the one that slides up and down the last one i think and these effects i think they look nice and simple so you want to apply this effect in your design you haven't seen it in my design and you like it so this is exactly how to do it it works perfectly well when you use it in a very nice layout and also if you're actually using it with a bolder text if you use it with a tiny text it, the effect doesn't make much sense much of a difference okay but if you use the bolder text it makes a lot more sense and it's more impressive and works very well on hero sections like this so once again my name is Manu from Kata Studios give this a like and subscribe to the channel to help us get to more persons do have a wonderful day